You already know, you feel me? What it do, YouTube? It's your RJ, and I'm back with another video for y'all. We gonna be reacting to Jamari Kostanet in the news, you feel me, with this bot that tried to expose him and whatnot. And honestly, ended up backfiring on her, you feel me? You know, we just gonna get to it. And uh, yeah, we gonna, we gonna see what Kai gotta say and all of that, and the whole situation, the breakdown and everything whatnot this has been everywhere so i'm not surprised make sure you hit that like button follow me on my socials let's get it let's go so there was a situation yesterday where streamer kai sanat was basically being held ransom virtually that is by an of girl slash corn star named layla red okay these two apparently had a relationship at some point last year after he met her during a stream all right hey, where you at you here with me i'm in the a2 Oh, not with me, though. I know. That's all, that's all we hear. I'm going to follow along. It's always some Atlanta girls, bro. Got it. Man, Atlanta. <laughs> man, I've been hearing some things about y'all. Like, hey, shh. Hearing what's going on with y'all down there and everything. It made me not even want to come to Atlanta, but. Still got. And I guess things eventually got deeper for them. And now she is using their time together to try and publicly extort one of the biggest streamers right now. But she's so dumb that she didn't use the blackmail against him correctly. She skipped way too many steps and went right to trying to expose him to yeah, the I saw public. this part. Not to even mention this man made her sign an NDA. So a mm. lot of what she has done is illegal. She's saying things like Kai owes her hush money. And they but at the same time with the NDA... NDAs really mostly come in handy when the person you make and sign it has something to kind of lose, which you could argue she don't, you feel me? So that's the tricky thing with the NDA. Like, it's good that he had her sign one, but, you know, feel me? Like, some people, they just don't got nothing to lose like that, you feel me? So it can be tricky. We even paid for her to sleep with him. Well, I mean, since I'm going to court, I might as well leak the... The Addy, the video. I saw this right here too. But she got hit that link in my bio. Video coming soon. This woman reminds me of that other corn star that tried to expose Zion Williamson last year and went on that well, ridiculous Twitter. The difference is between that is Zion, you know, Kai is just trying to say he didn't pay for it. But Zion, we got <laughs> we got clear evidence that you did, my boy. We we got hard 4K evidence. Tirade where she made herself look absolutely but that was crazy the though. process that all that was an crazy. attempt to expose Zion. That bitch was out here tagging the NBA and Adam Silver and shit, talking about she did a tornado trick on his eggplant. Huh. Look at my boy Zion now. Balling hey, he balling right here. Yeah, he balling right now. Comes to Kai, he did the best thing possible and immediately hey, got responded hurt, to these allegations. And it turns into a pretty great reverse Uno moment. So this was the initial post that I saw about this situation. She came forward with this via Twitter, where I guess she was pretty much trying to promote her OF page like we saw Juice World's ex-girlfriend do recently. I mean And my thing is, why would you mess something up like that? Like you're, you know, doing what you do with your profession and stuff. You messing up the bag, bruh. You're linked with Kai Sinai. You was on his stream. I'm sure you got a bunch of new followers from that. And, you know, he wanted to link up with you and stuff. My thing is, you got a, a good connection right there from a, if I put myself in a female mind frame, like, why would you mess that bet? Uh, just not good long-term thinking, ain't it? Uh, God, you don't crazy. know these OF girls are absolutely shameless. They'll do anything to get that dollar. And obviously, I'm not going to show you these pictures because they're actually revenge corn, obviously. But she says, full video of me and Kai Sinat, link in bio. It was so good, too. And let's be honest, guys. If you see your favorite streamer or rapper or some sort of entertainer famous person got their tape exposed on the timeline, if your first thought is to run and go watch it, to That's run great. and go pay for it, you need to seek some sort of psychiatric help. That's she great. also says when Kai know what to do when you come around. Wait, so I thought, this is what well, he said that she blocked it out. I thought, but I didn't know. I mean, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't know she really, like, put him out there like that. I mean, I could be wrong, but. This $5,000 Apple payment allegation comes from where she claims he was paying for the goodies. Now, this is Kai's initial response. He would go on to absolutely flame her throughout the day. Here he's showing his Apple payment history. Oh, yeah, this is the clip I saw. Saved as Layla Red in my phone. Oh, God. You're saved as Layla Red in my phone. Kiara Rush. 
I'm on you now. Kiara Rush. We, don't, we call you Kiara now. Use her government name. Go to November. Stop. Stop. <laughs> so as you guys can see, they're in the Apple Pay history. Label red for 50. I'm sorry, Jamal. We're going to kind of speed you up just to, just, just a tab. We're going to put it on 1.25. Dollars, okay, and I guess he's basically trying to say here, no, I did not pay to smash some old retired corn star turned OF washed up woman. All I paid for was the trip home. By the way, I never seen Kai that teed up before. I mean, I ain't been, I don't watch him like consistently, I just see clips on TikTok and sometimes and all that, and videos, you know, YouTube, I check in every now and again with AMP and stuff. I never seen that tea before, probably ever. I don't think. Obviously, Kai was beyond outraged in this situation, and he's really trying to go the extra mile here to not only clear his name, but to also expose this corn star. And I guess this was her response to him saying that all he paid for was the Uber, which she says, when the biggest streamer in the world pay for and lie to hide the truth. LOL. She would then go on to. Let's talk about how you mess up bag up. And listen, guys, I know they say all the time to not judge a book by its cover. But, but I mean, she's not wrong when she said grown man paid. paid. It's that sometimes you have to use your brain. You can just literally sometimes see a woman or see a man and know what they're so all about. So ain't lying there, but my thing, why would you? Post this photo of Kaisen not oh, in man. bed. It looks like she took this picture while this man was sleeping. And he basically has his junk out. And yes, this would qualify as revenge corn. She says, trying to sue me after buying is wild. LOL, you go into jail too, clown. You breached the contract and so did I. Guess your bitch ass will be in a cell right next to me. And she would even take to TikTok to drop this video response to Kai. Everybody keeps asking me about all the dates, all the dates. See, he's not showing y'all shit from this year. I showed y'all last year and this year. He's just showing y'all last year and he's showing from another iCloud. See, that's not dumb. I heard her IG it's got a deleted. Whole I -Cloud. A or something. I'm showing proof from our most recent leak up, which was three weeks ago. Now, to be fair to her, do I think that someone with as much money, clout, and status as Kai Sinat would only have one phone that he's doing Apple Pay on? Absolutely not. Where he paid me to delete anything that I had on him, which was a agreement. And I was cool with that. Wait, so did he pay you to delete information about him or did he pay you to sleep with him? Because you're alleging two different things right now. Your story really is not adding up. You gotta understand, like, I'm in the industry. Everything I get is insurance. Peter Blank, Blank, I don't know y'all, and I'm gonna always protect myself at the end of the day. So, yes, I did collect insurance, you damn right, just like he did when he recorded my voice. And the insurance she's talking about is all these different materials that she had to expose him, like that picture of him laying naked asleep in bed. I mean, when it comes what? to Kai, he would just sit in for messing around with someone like this. Like, the saying is very true. You lay down with dogs and you're likely gonna get fleeced. To act like you did pay me, bitch. Now you got me up, and now I got exposed. I mean, I do agree with that. You feel me? But at the same time, it's like we got to get on her. She the one we need to be harping on because, bruh, you signed the NDA, NDA. Then you committed revenge prawn. Then you dox him, showing his number and stuff like that. So that that already three for three. And then. You messed up. You you messed up an opportunity for yourself. Like I, I, don't, I don't get it. So basically what this woman is saying is that she wants to be viewed as a hooker. She wants to be viewed as someone who is down for the pay for play. I don't think that's the flex that she thinks it is. I am about to post a transaction ID for the payment that you just recently made to me. I mean, does anyone really care if Kai went out and was tricking on this chick? Absolutely not. Entertainers, athletes, people of. It wouldn't be a surprise me. You know, if he if he in fact did trick on her, but normal women, industry women, corn stars. I mean, he made it very clear that he didn't. That's kind of like their whole game. Stop acting like you don't know why I'm doing this right now. Everything was cool until you didn't want to pay me my money, my less money, and that's when it became a problem. You made this a problem. I can't lie to you guys. This has to be one of the dumbest individuals that we've ever seen on my channel. Like she's trying to expose blatantly self incriminating She's just exposing herself and her potential mini crimes. Thank you for giving yourself another charge, dumb. She even went out of her way to leak this man's number. All right, here's a screen report for you guys. That was crazy. Up now. Message. Well, didn't have to lie. And this clip right here would actually result in her getting banned from Instagram, which I'm sure like all the other OF girls when it comes to promoting. Oh, so that clip might have been. OF and Instagram go together like bread and butter. That's where they lure in all the simps. See, if I just would have got my money, I would have shut up. Well, you're definitely not going to get your money now, chick. As a matter of fact, you're going to be sending portions of your paycheck to Kai Sinat for quite some time. And honestly, crashing out over like 5,000 bucks is definitely... Five, that, like, now, this is where Kai Sinat crazy. really becomes a savage in this situation. He took a page out of 50 Cent's book, and he's being extra petty with the people trying to play with his name. So, Layla, I have bought your domain. Now, you might ask, what does that mean, Kai? It means 
Every time somebody types in Tiara Rush, anytime somebody types in Lalo Red, oh, nah. the first website that they would click on. I ain't gonna lie, that's some that's some fifty. That is that is some fifty cent. I'm glad he said fifty cent. That is something like fifty cent esque. He took a page out of fifty cent book with that. Was like, bro, that is some fifty cent, bro. I swear it is, bro. I don't. Mm. All the crimes you've done, all the dumb shit you just put yourself in to f up your life. So no, your OS link won't pop up first. <laughs> no, or anything like that won't pop up first. Oh no, 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 no. The top link will be. Yeah. That's for real. How you end somebody like Showing that's everything crazy. that you've done. So obviously the man is playing chess while this woman is out here not even playing checkers, okay? This bitch is playing like tic-tac-toe. And this is what you see when you go to these websites that Kai Sinan set up. Oh my god! We got you, bitch. <laughs> oh no, that's crazy. Every single clip for anybody who messes up. Oh wait, I don't know Kiawa's real name. Hold on, we don't know it. <laughs> oh no. Oh wow. No matter what, for the rest of your life, this will be here. Wow. Now, not to you guys, that is a pretty damn good power play right there. That is. Apparently, Kai was even out here smoking on that Layla Red Pack, dancing around. I mean, <laughs> this whole shit is hilarious. I mean, she really thought she was going to make him look bad, and she really kind of just turned this into a W for him. And, and you're going against the biggest streamer in the world, and you think you're going to come out on top. Like, come on, man. It's a little bit tongue in cheek here. Oh, we take a deep in the court? Well, she is. I'm ready to take you to court, little P. Diddy Jr. You talking about you trying to sell me to one of your homies and all that shit? Don't be kidding, but I got all that in the teeth, too. So she's calling him P. Diddy Jr. P. Diddy Jr. Wow, they're crazy. He's a trafficker because he went to one of his boys and told people what she's all about. I mean, clearly she prides herself on being pay for play. But That's a fact. Act like it's some sort of Diddy situation when it's convenient for her. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. They sure don't. Of course he was going to come back with a story saying he's going to sue me. How else was he going to listen to the blog? I mean, you like a certified trick right now. Duh. And you're what? A certified hooker and proud of it? Truly do not understand nope. how an individual can be this low IQ. I mean, just look at the face there. It's not screaming Harvard graduate. But I want to know what you guys mm. think about this situation down below. Just yeah, Like I said, man, like, this, God, my thing is, it's like, man, how do you mess a bag up like that? Like, you you were benefiting. Like, you was on his stream and, you know, he, he said, hey, I'm in Atlanta and all that. And you, y'all, of course, you know, like, she messed up. She, she messed up her bag. A lot of these females, they don't got long-term thinking, you feel me? Like, Nicki Minaj or something. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna say Nicki Minaj. But I don't know who's a big... I don't know who's a big female streamer or something. But if a big female streamer was streaming or whatever, and she was bringing up people or whatever, and she brought me up or whatever, and she was like, oh, you kind of cute, you know, let's leave you in this area. Oh, you in North Carolina? Oh, da, da, da. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I try to be like, oh, well, you know, I'm gonna expose her, da, 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 da. Oh, she didn't pay me for... It's like, wait a minute, like, I'm getting opportunity, a big opportunity here, like, I'm I'm definitely gonna be lit, you feel me? I'm gonna be excited, like, it's just mess up your bag like that. Oh, Jesus Christ, like that. Uh. Now, like I said, you know, Kai do gotta take accountability for kind of getting himself in this a little bit, but at the same time, like I said, we need to be harping on this bop right here for breaking the contract, doing revenge prawn, you feel me? Doxing him. All that. Like, you feel me? Like, bro, she the one who really effed up here. You feel me? Like, Kai, at the end of the day, is a grown guy. He a grown man. You know, a grown man gonna do what a grown man wanna do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, so yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Make sure you leave a like. Until next time, Mr. Boy RJ. Y'all stay safe out there. I'm gone.